All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you the beginner campaign, the 10-pack method. And this is what you're going to use um, when you're first starting out. You find a winner. So we're just going to assume that this one was a winner. Uh, so we want to run a real campaign to it now. So we're going to actually use the exact same post we did in the, in the test, because if it worked, why switch it up? So to do so, it's quite simple. Go to your campaign ads manager, create a campaign. We're going to call this um, 002. And we'll call this dad to son, and then the date, and then it's going to be to my son, no matter who, because that's which one it was. Now here, we're going to go to purchases, well, sorry, conversions, and then key result is purchase. And then under here, I want to put the campaign number, and then the ad set number, and then the date. And then the interests that we're going to target. Okay, so do that. And then paste it under the new ad part. And it'll take a second. And then over here, we're going to go search. Well, let's hit that side arrow. Search, campaign name, 002. Let me make sure we're only in here. Now click it to go into the ad set, then you can click edit or the edit button, excuse me. Then we're going to select our event, which is purchase. Even though there aren't any purchases on here yet, we're still going to use that. Because actually by the time we get here with yours, I'm just assuming because uh, I'm doing demonstrations, but for yours, this is only when you have purchases that you actually go to this step. So your purchase should be green. And then here, we're going to set these to $5. These are little little ad sets that we're going to run. And we can basically start these now, although uh, it's probably good to get in the habit of starting everything the next day at midnight. So we'll start it on the 10th. So I'm actually going to change that to the 10th. And then we go down to our targeting. We're going to remove Canada. Put in... United States, like so, and then we're going to go men, we're going to go 40 plus, and for targeting we're going to do sun, well it's going to be pretty big, but that's 1.2 million, that's, that's good, we're going to keep it very broad, and then we're going to edit placements, and here we'll do, um, we'll do desktop and mobile now. So I'll just go to all feeds, okay? So all devices, and then just feeds is checked. Everything else is unchecked. Now we're going to scroll down here. We're going to go to a one-day click, and under here, we're going to do set a bid cap. Now this bid cap is going to start... They, they used to have suggested bids here that you can see. You can still see them if you use the Ads Manager app on your phone. But we can't see them now, and they used to range from like 23 as on the low end to 30 as a mid range, and then 40 something on the high end. So we're going to start this at like literally a random number, so 23 and change. Okay, so set yours to 23 and change. Whatever the change, it, it doesn't matter. I'm going to show you what to do with that after. Okay, so that's our ad set, our first one, and now we need our ad. So I just click on it, and I'll be into the ad tab. Click edit. And now I'm going to select my page. So I want family time. Use existing post. I'm going to go grab this post ID. Copy. And then enter post ID. There we go. So that post is ready to go. So now what I need to do is go back to my ad sets. And I need to do nine duplicates of this because it's a 10 pack. So they're all going to be identical except the manual bid is going to be different. So where do we get the manual bid? Well, we can use a calculator or we can use a little sheet that I have in Google Sheets called the Tempac Calculator. Now all I did, there's nothing fancy about this, I'm going to drag it over in a second here. You can see this is a Google Sheet. So I punch in my bid 
then it tells me ad set one, that's a bid, two, that's a bid, three, that's a bid. So all I did was increment that bid by 20%. Okay, don't worry about this other stuff on here. And there's my 10 ad sets. So I'm literally just going to copy and paste that into my 10 pack. Okay, so I'm going to put this onto my other screen. And then I'll go back to my ad sets. And you can see why you need the bid column now, right? Because we're going to change these numbers. So the second one, copying off my other screen, hit the little edit icon, paste. Copy. Now where did the 23.13 come from? Like I said, start at $23 and any random change number that you want and then just increment it by 20% for every ad set in your 10 pack. So you can use a spreadsheet to figure this out or you can use a calculator to figure this out. It's not difficult to do. And the neat part is once we get this 10 pack set up we're not going to stop there. We're going to add some rules and then we're going to schedule more of these to start for the next seven days. The only change we're going to make is the interest because we don't have access to custom audiences or look-alike audiences yet. So you can see that is my new one and then if you're if you don't like the copy on there you can remove it. You simply select all edit, find and replace, type in space dash copy, replace it with nothing, and then they'll all be identical. So there's my first 10. That's starting on the 10th. They're all ready to go. So I'm going to review and publish this. Publish. And the reason I'm doing that now is so that I can create the rules that I want to run on this. Because I don't want any of these assets to get away from me. I don't want them to spend too much money without profiting. So I can be as aggressive or as conservative as I want with pausing ad sets, which you're going to see in a second. So to set up the rules, what's this done there? Oh, interesting. So it gave me a message, but it actually did them all strange. Facebook has bugs, so select that, create rule, active ad sets in one campaign, turn it off if spent is greater than, I'm going to be pretty aggressive with this, I'm going to say if it spends $20 without a sale, and then website conversion, Facebook pixel, and then purchase, it's smaller than one, and for these low daily budget ones, I'm going to go lifetime, because $5 a day will take it a couple days. And we're going to go like this, 002, turn off ad set if spent is greater than 20 and purchase is less than one lifetime. I'm just going to copy that. Great. So that's going to cut it. Any ad set that spends $20 without a sale is gone. Facebook will pause it. They run those rules every 30 minutes. I'm going to create another rule. And this is if it has a purchase, so if purchases is greater than zero, meaning one or up, and the cost per purchase, which is under cost per website conversion, Facebook pixel, and cost per purchase is greater than, in this case we'll say 30, because I mean we make like 40 to $48 on these, so 30 is still very profitable. And We'll do that lifetime. So we went 20. If it doesn't get a sale by 20, turn it off. If it gets a sale, but the cost for purchase is above 30, then turn it off. Okay? So cost for purchase greater than zero and cost per purchase greater than 30, turn it off. So that's going to manage every ad set I do in this campaign. But I'm not done. So that's going to be the 10th. I also want, I want to run create seven 10 packs, schedule one to start every day. So I'm going to create one to start on the 11th and I'm, all I'm going to do is change the interest. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do it. So go into your ad sets, select them all, click duplicate, one each. Okay. 
I'll take a second. And then... I'm going to call that number 2. I'm going to change it. I'm going to do fatherhood instead of son. So I go down here. And you can hit suggestions too and you'll see a lot. Well, father and son might be a good one too. Ooh, father and son is even better. Let's see how that does. Oh, it's pretty small. My father and my son. Being a father. How to be a dad. My boys. Father knows best. There it is. Fatherhood. Fatherhood's a big one, so I like that. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to leave everything else the same. Actually, you know what? That's a really big audience. So I'm going to narrow this down. I'm going to go fatherhood and let's try that engaged shopper one again. That's better. Three million. So fatherhood and engaged shoppers. I'm going to go fatherhood and engaged shoppers. I'm going to change the date to the 11th on all these. Oops. Let me copy that. I think it took me out of this. So let's see if it's in draft. Again, another Facebook bug because it's showing 10 selected, but I can't see where they are. So I'm just going to assume they're there. And then change the date to the 11th at midnight. And then go into the ads. There we go. And now edit the ads to reflect the new one. Just going to change the name. Done. Review and publish. So now I've got 10 ad sets starting on the 10th. 10 ad sets starting on the 11th and then I can repeat what I just did for the 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, do them for seven days. So all told you'll have seven times 10 equals 70 ad sets at five bucks a piece. So that's like 350 bucks. But your rules that we set up <coughs> will actually pause them. So that is how you do the 10 pack. And then what do you do after seven days? Well, if it's working, you keep it running, and you just keep adding 10 packs with different targeting. So I did sons, I did fatherhood and engaged shoppers, but there's a lot more I can do. I could do like baseball and parents, hunting and parents. I can do so many different things with the parents one. So there's an unlimited number of targeting options that you have when you're in the family niche. So now your job is to go ahead and repeat what I did for your niche and set up at least seven so one to start tomorrow, and then the day after that, day after that, day after that, all the way out seven days. Make sure you set up your rules, and uh, that's how we do our beginner campaign. Works very well. And once you set it up, it's pretty much going to run on its own, because Facebook's going to pause things for you. So you'll end up with a lot of these ad sets will be paused, but the ones that are left over are going to be winners. They're going to be long-term winners, too. Okay? Makes sense? If you have any questions, let me know.